Today on the Lever Monkey, we remove a manhole and some pipe. I'll show you some stuff here. Alright, so we're into the project now. We're getting started off the road and we are uh, currently removing a manhole that is uh, an existing sewer manhole. Um, was active just a few uh, days ago. So now we're going to remove it. We've got plugs uphill and downstream and we have a bypass running that uh, is diverting the sewer out of this line. There is a little bit of residual, and I do uh, take uh, we do take measures to uh, prevent any from escaping. So right here, I am uh, excavating on the back side of the manhole. I just removed the uh, cone and one foot ring. Uh, I'm currently locating the sewer line that is lo that is coming out of the manhole, headed in my direction. We'll be replacing it and upsizing to a 27 inch from a 16 inch. So here I'm just feeling out the uh, existing pipe and trying to figure out which direction it's heading. So here I'm just doing a test pull to see uh, what size manhole I'm dealing with. The manhole we pulled out of the street was quite large, so I just wanted to see what kind of work I'm going to have to do to get it out. So here I've opted to go with my two foot bucket. Here I locate the pipe and then I'm going to dig alongside of it to expose it and dig around the manhole to make it easier to pull out. So here what I'm doing is I'm uh, collapsing the pipe in and breaking it so that way I can pull the manhole out without uh, ripping out a bunch of pipe with it.
Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a little swing check, making sure that I have actually gotten all the way through the pipe. Now I'm going to plug the pipe with some uh, native material, prevent any sewage from escaping that's there. So at this point I've dug around it a little bit, I found the edges, and I did a little test pull, she's ready to come out. So I'm going to set this off to the side, push it out to where my uh, loader hand can pick it up with a forks and or bucket, and he's going to haul it off and take it over to the sewer treatment plant where we have a uh, disposal location. Now we're going to swap back to the... Uh, five foot I think or six foot bucket and we're gonna dig out the manhole uh, get everything cleaned up and get it prepared uh, for rock and get everything to grade While we're doing this, to talk a little bit about the ground out here, we've got a red uh, material here that um, is, has a lot of shale in it. So the uh, ground, I'm digging through an existing trench line this, for that 16 inch line. The topsoil is fairly loose for the top two feet, maybe three feet. And underneath that, where the existing line is, is that hard shale uh, layer. We got about Two and a half feet of that so I've got about a three foot vertical and uh, I sloped it off from there uh, for the guy's safety. So one of the questions I just came up with myself is uh, I notice I'm digging at a long reach. The reason being is you look down at the left corner, I've got a restricted area that we can't go into. And my front track to keep me on center line is uh, right up against that fence. Uh, so I'm having to reach out a little bit further than I normally would to uh, dig this manhole.
not the manhole stake. Manhole stake's on that side. I'll get the ground man. He'll uh, drop a uh, paint can or rock or something and find center manhole make sure the trenches are all lined up everything's going to work and then plus he'll be able to measure from wherever he drops his rock or can to find the size of the um, manhole and get make sure i'm cutting all the sides the you right size back there It's a 12 foot offset. by eight. So four feet by four feet. Go that way too, George. That towards those guys. Don't worry about this side. So here I'm matching the one side with the other. By reaching out and touching the left, I'm able to swing across to the right and match the uh, hole, make it square.
Where's the chainsaw? Jesse, just knock the branches down. Back up and knock them down. So I'm just telling my uh, subordinate over there, uh, he's having issues with the branches coming into his cab and stuff like that. And for me, I just knock stuff down because I'm not worried about saving branches and stuff like that that are in my way. If they're going to cause an issue, you might as well take them down right off the bat instead of leaving them there and having to fight them. And They're probably going to get taken out anyways. So now we're going to clear off the top of this uh, old pipe and we'll uh, work our way back and uh, pull that pipe out.
Nope, so here I realize I need to uh, do a little more grade balancing behind myself. So that way I'm, when I track back, I'm going to be level. So now what I'm doing is I'm get, making room, I'm pushing the fence back because we have to do it just for safety. When I dig the trench, I'm going to have to slope it out and I need that space. This is the softer material that we're going to be digging in. I actually have a spot that's right behind us in this uh, video that's going to cause some problems down the line. A uh, later video will be coming on that. I got to knock this down.
Alright, finally time to pull that pipe out. So by lifting the pipe, all any sewage or liquids that were in there just ran back into the uh, uphill pipe. So now I'm going to take some dirt, shove it into the pipe, and prevent anything else from coming out. see just how bad this dust is that we're dealing with on this job and it's pretty much going to be the entire time that we're out there. made it to grade and reach in and I'll smooth the bottom out to make it easier for the guys to walk around and place their uh, rock on.
I said earlier, got the loader coming over to pick up that manhole base to haul it off. Give him a little bit of help because it's a little awkward. Forks probably would have been a better choice to pick that up. Just, I just want to see the rock grid. I just want to see if I'm close. Rock grade? Yeah, on this side. Compared to your rock grade, they ought to be pretty close. Up. I think it just turned off. Show me in the manhole then. Keep taking it off the edge. That's that manhole grade, right? I want the same rock grade that you guys have on your side. The pipe grade, not the manhole grade. Check it against your grade first and then check on my side. Right there's good. It's close enough. I'm not looking for precision, I just want to get an estimate. Down. Okay, I gotta take it down about three. All right. So by using the uh, grade from the other side, once we set up the laser for this trench that I'm digging on now, it will be very, very close to uh, the right grade. We're only digging at a 0.1%, uh, and it's real critical that we're dead nuts on grade going through here. the beginning so the end and the beginning ought to be really close it's just something I can estimate off of just to get this first little this first cut done then we set up the other then we move the laser or set up another laser all right guys so we'll call it here long video some of you guys like the longer videos so we're gonna say subscribe I need you guys to subscribe that if you're watching it and you're not subscribed I really need your subscriptions um, for you guys that like the videos hit the like button for you guys that don't like the video give me a thumbs down it doesn't bother me leave a comment tell me why you gave me the thumbs down and if you like the video gave me a thumbs up hey let me know why you like the video really helps the analytics gets my videos pushed out a little more to more people uh, I'm trying to get more subscribers to the channel so I can keep growing this thing okay thanks a lot guys I'll talk to you lever monkeys later